good afternoon students i'll be teaching lost spring and this is a recapitulation of the chapter lost spring or written by anish chan and uh, before going for the more discussion just uh, i'll share you a little bit more information about uh, i'll give you a, some information about anish jung first then we'll go for synopsis or a synchronizing or a short analysis of the chapter so here about the anish jung anish jung i have said in the very beginning she is a odia writer we can say means a odisha girl anish jung a prolific indian writer who received her education in india and us her parents were also distinguished writers she began her career as a writer in india she has been an editor and columnist for major newspapers in india and abroad this chapter is a, is an excerpt from her book titled the lost spring from a book titled lost spring stories of Sto stolen childhood from this and the title has been given here is as a lost friend and in this part we uh, we know this text as a lost friend and this text has been taken from the book known as stories of stolen child she analyze the grinding poverty and tradition which condemn these children to a life exploitation these children so this kind of children are there in india and she has presented the indian situation how the in india especially asian countries in india especially she is indian writer so she has highlighted the issue to issue we are able to see the first uh, first one uh, here in the uh, first one here that is uh, about we will be discussing about the first character that is saheb his full name is sahebe alam so here author is meeting uh, so that the first care part has been titled as sometimes i find a rupee in the garbage okay sometimes i find a rupee in a garbage and here author encounter with saheb so questions him about his vocation of rag picking when is the one what he is doing is job of rag picking and advise him to to 90 means he is as why as advising he is asking why don't you come to school okay so for that reason he is promising to open a school even and felt embarrassed at making a hollow promise and she made a fake promise so that she is means feeling bad and at the same time meets rag picker so he belong to a refugee family from bangladesh so at the same time in the beginning she meets to the saheb he belongs to bangladesh a refugee family and uh, the, when they shifted from bangladesh to india during that time and that was the uh, bangladesh was getting freedom and these people have during that time settled in india because and uh, because the in the very beginning the chapter has been shared that her mother saheb mother she she informed that uh, due to the lack of food it was not available and the house was destroyed due to natural disasters that's why they have to shift from there to this place okay and they have shifted to place known as simapur simapuri on ferry ferry of delhi far away from it okay so irony in name existence so what is irony his name is sahib e alam and uh, sahib e alam is sahib e alam alam means universe lord of the universe its name meaning is lord of the universe okay as per his name his presence is happening is totally opposite so uh, what the irony in it the one one of we are getting the first point the the sima puri on the ferry ferry of delhi far away from it and it's, it's a the text it has been connected to the part that uh, the lifestyle delhi is quite different it's developed and sima puri is opposite to it okay it's in the ferry ferry but it's of dwelling structure of mud here the, the houses are built of mud only boon valid uh, ration card to means they are only having that's a blessing for them they have a ration card through which their survival is possible okay happy to live in strange land which provides food grain than in their own motherland 
without camp. So they are happy to live in a such place where there is no food for them and they are happy to live here where they can get some food, something, some shelter where they get something for them. Okay, this is about the a part of Sima Puri, what we are getting here. What is that? Sima Puri in a uh, de description of the area uh, where they are living. Now comes in the other part, a passage of uh, passage of time and degree and prosperity achieved. Longing for a pair of shoes. What was the who is longing for a pair of shoes? This is a, his a want he needed. That is what Sahib. His condition is very poor condition and is wanting for shoe. Raktika still shoeless. Okay, but whereas the priest Udipi part where he is able to recall the priest is having what. Boy is now and nowadays able to get the shoe, but still the Raktikas, they are shoeless. Remind of Prish to barefoot son in town of 30 years ago. He is able to, so he is able to uh, remind about a story connecting to uh, the UDP story and whether Prish son is able to get a shoe, but here she is not. He the means Raktikas, they are not. Next, we are able to see the analysis over here. Next analysis over here, what? But deprived but deprived of even basic needs scrounge strut with other rags picker boy so they don't have the basic needs that's a <coughs> he need to move all around in the uh, with other boys okay uh, who this rag picker sahib barefooted boys reflected extreme poverty these boys were barefooted and uh, that's why they're in extreme poverty. But deprived of even basic needs, scrounged earth without rag picker boys. Means they're so much deprived, okay? And they don't have what the basic needs. For that reason, they these rag pickers move around, get their basic needs to fulfill the basic needs of their life. Next, we are able to see. So I have looking for, uh, means so I want in his childhood. So I have looking for childhood. What a child should have in his childhood is as you all and even our kids, what they need. We give them a best thing the, to play, to eat, to sleep, to enjoy a shelter food. Okay. Sahib's longing for during childhood days. Want to wear shoes, watch rich boys playing tennis, wish to enjoy pleasure of childhood and play tennis. Want to enjoy the pleasure of childhood as students are getting, other kids are getting it. At the same time, uh, Sahib's new vocations, the, the new thing in his life. Okay, no freedom. No, sorry, work on a tea stall earns that is 800 per month and gets the uh, a meal. Okay, to eat it. A peer's burden and for loon, there is no free. He's, he has lost his freedom. That's why no freedom. Tin container was heavier than his rack picking bag. So, this was the what. The condition we are able to see about this boy that is Sahib Alam, the name of uh, the protagonist, we can say, with whom uh, the narrator was dealing. The first part that is, sometime I find a rupee in the garbage. So, here we are able to see how uh, the narrator meets Sahib and uh, in the part he is telling. So, just we have a little uh, discussion we have done about with the sahib -e alam so how many rag pickers were there there were 10000 barefoot rag pickers live in simapur and it is a what uh, sahib -e alam its name is lord of the universe so this is about what we we have dealt with about the sahib -e, the written form and that is what i have shown you that was a uh, we can say a pie chart or through a form of a chart. I have shown you uh, that part of uh, idea from uh, we can say that is Sahib. And now we'll come to the second chat uh, of Sahib that is uh, from Anis Jang. That is next one. We can say uh, who is the next character here? The next character is Mukesh. The second part. That is, we are going to see that is Mukesh. Okay, so we'll be meeting Mukesh in our second part. And what was his 
condition we'll see in our chat that is uh, mukesh so i want to drive a car the desire to do something the desire i want to drive a car i want my bike we say no similarly he want to drive a car its desire is to drive a car so the main character we are able to see the protagonist who is the protagonist here mukesh and uh, what was he doing it here wish to be a motor me mechanic uh, and uh, first we are able to see wish to be a motor mechanic want to learn to drive uh, drive a car and a child labor in a glass factory so see first his wish has been shown here wish to be a motor mechanic want to learn to drive a car here two points we are able to see what is his condition a child labor in a glass factory in firozabad and family unaware that child labor is illegal you can see the mukesh they are uh, see as i have in the last class i have shared you the information simapuri means rackpickers and similarly firozabad is famous for bangal pickers so they all are busy in making bangles and they don't know any other skills or they've never thought out of any other skills that uh, they can learn and they can do or they can survive their life sim, sim, uh, similar in simapur they are only all are rack pickers and similarly in uh, where we can say that is uh, bangle makers in firozabad so family unaware that child labor is illegal a child laborer in a glass factory in firozabad here are the uh, four basic ideas we are getting about mukesh next we are coming to the next point about mukesh that living condition firozabad what is the living con only a legacy hangover what is the legacy hangover that has been taught that how to make tangle it is a legacy it has been coming it's from it's transferred from the forefather what is the condition there all of poverty stricken means all are poor next in charge of family members there is a in charge of family there is a someone there is in the charge of a family members to deal with okay and there is a someone in the family house in houses with crumbling walls means there is a uh, there is no parallel wall means there is a and means uh, what there is a uh, you can see our house uh, when we have see our wall it's very parallel it's very uh, plain wall smooth wall they don't have because it is made up of mud due to poverty their house is very untidy uh, un unsafe uneven and the walls are uneven okay next we can see humans and animals live together the animals is there in the house one place food everything smoking lanes stinking lanes mukesh how house half built head of the family all this are the living condition of mukesh next we are able to see what mukesh grandmother's view mukesh grandmother is the what's a view their present state a result of karma okay their present state results a karma uh, their present state results to karma okay their present state result to karma and that is <coughs> means we say no, uh, what whatever is there in our fortune in our karma so whatever we are doing it so that the, the present state is result to their karma due to their deeds okay so that's why they are in this condition whatever they do that's why that their condition are like that things art of bengal making god given lineage as if god has given them to do this only see as if in our society they have been uh, previously you might have seen in the olden days uh, as in a society divided from the hierarchy brahmins then other shudra caste and so many caste systems are there so people think that these people are fixed for this this job uh, some uh, the sweepers those are doing that's their job no the systems the time has been changing so similar these people are thinking that god given limit lineage this is the uh, god has been given to the by the tradition we all are doing one by one accepted her husband's blindness caused by dust of gla glass bangles as their destiny okay accepted husband's blindness means walking in a dark cells dingy dingy cells and due to which she has i mean her husband grandmother's husband had lost her uh, his uh, eye okay due to walking in a glass bangles so uh, say walking condition in a glass furnace from of this this is the first point grandmother's view grandmother's view is giving in this one where were they working they were all working in a dingy cell dingy cell means dark cell okay dingy cell means 
dark cell. They all are working in a dark cell. And next, poorly ventilated. There is no window, nothing, no one room, everything is there. That's why there is a high temperature inside the room. Next, we are able to see what? Vicious circle of poverty. Vicious circle of poverty means they're trapped. Okay, as uh, the as you might have been able to see, there's a trap. Means you do one thing by doing your deeds, you come into the problem, you land into the problem, and due to which they come in the vicious circle of poverty. What fear of police, lack of leadership, check their growth, and no progress despite of years struggle, poverty, illiteracy, dissatisfaction, victim of middleman and touts. Okay, so as I, uh, as I have say, uh, shared you in the last part, that um, uh, last class, the uh, highly educated person, highly uh, bureaucrats, the, those are having police, ministers, all keep these people, use they use these people. Due to which these common people, these poor people, these poverty stricken people, they come into the trap. Okay. And next, we are able to see, uh, next, uh, that's why it's a fear of police, lack of leadership, that's why they, are, they have always having a fear of police, police will hit them, police will take them to the jail, and there's no one there, leader in this area, and they all are always there, suffer. Next one, irony part. What is the irony? Bengal of sin. Bengal, a symbol of Suhag. What they are making it, do they know the importance of Bengal? So Bengal, a symbol of Suhag. And every girl, child, one day as bride will wear bangles. So that is the importance we are able to see. Every girl, one day when she'll become a bride, she'll wear the bangle. So next point we are able to see, children double victim. Children getting double victim. First, by birth, border by stigma of caste second. By birth, bordered by stigma of caste second. As were their birth. We say sometimes you might be saying to your family members, you might be heard of saying others to friends, Kas, I would have born in a family of some Ambani's or uh, the big rich people, we'd be having uh, so many money. So we think like that. Okay. Similarly, here, uh, as per birth, consider and the stigma of caste, second, there is a stigma of casteism, kills so many people, comes in trap, so many people comes in trap. Okay no hope have to accept family occupation there's no other way they have to accept the family occupation then next ruled by sahukas middlemen policemen means bureaucrats rich people sahukas money lender okay so they comes in the victim of these people okay ruled by and they are the ruling these people means uh, the bengal makers so the poor people poverty people are ruled by these people next one little desire to dream snubbed in childhood there's a little bit desire to dream to do something but that is Crushed and they cannot dream of that even. And Mukesh was exceptional. Mukesh was different in Firozabad. Have dream to motor mechanic, but uh, practical does not have a dream of aeroplane. He is a very practical man. He does not think of aeroplane. As in the last part, in the last class, I have shared you from the text that line when the narrator or the author was asking about the, why don't you think to be a mechanic of aeroplane he very nicely answered so he was a practical man does not have dream of aeroplanes because aeroplanes really fly over Firoz Abad so that's why he never dream of it I said it no last class in a proof of that jitni badi chadha utni bada pair fell out means as per your ability as per your capability as per your um, what liabilities what you have it in the same way, you have to think your dream. You cannot uh, think of a poverty stricken man cannot dream to be a aeroplane or going to a space. It's quite difficult for him. Practically, where he is working, he can be a motor mechanic, he can be a bike mechanic, where as per his level. So that was having a little bit dream that uh, we can say uh, this man was uh, having. Okay. So this is the two uh, what uh, part we are able to see the uh, two. Uh, things a new uh, part we are able to see about the uh, in our chapter okay uh, so here i'll again come to the uh, very beginning um, little bit uh, contrasting with the theme the lesson brings out the plight of children forced into labor early in life and denied the opportunity of schooling okay so forced labor what we are seeing in the two characters they both are getting forced labor 
and callousness of society and political classes suffering of poor. Callousness means the carelessness of society and society does not care. We, we say uh, child labor is bad, child labor is wrong in speeches and all. We'll be walking, hey, brother, hey, bachak, aja. When we go to the big hotels or we go to the small in you know, a roadside tea, when you take tea and all, we see the PS2 kids working there. And the political class of suffering of poor, polit political class make this poor always suffer. Okay, so this is the uh, what theme of the chapter, and this is the part that I want to give you a small synopsis idea about the chapter. Okay, so if this uh, our video gets end in the middle, so don't leave it. Uh, I want that uh, you must be there again immediately after the video gets end. Immediate login ID password again as you enter and join it again. We will discuss some more introduction of the new chapter. I'll be discussing. I'll be showing you today uh, which chapter we'll be discussing. Okay, uh, so <coughs> we'll be do, uh, begin discussing a new chapter today. So before going to the new chapter, uh, I'll uh, just give you some questions, practice question, and I'll be discussing some practice question right now. So just turn. I'll I'm just uh, I'll turn up your mic. So you can answer me or you can write it down your answers on in the chat box. Okay, so uh, I'll be asking you some uh, I'll be uh, if you have any doubts, I'll clear your doubts, then I'll go for that part. Okay, so wait and I'll let me bring up those questions first. <coughs> hmm. uh, question for practice, long question. Uh, here are the questions. Uh, short questions. Uh, question for practice. Okay, so just I'm uh, switching on the mic. You can answer, uh, unmute all. You can answer and you can write it down in the chat box uh, so there are the few questions in the chat book let me see uh, one of the students is asking uh, so why simapuri means rack picker yeah i told you the very beginning and uh, the simapuri means a rack picker why because in the simapuri uh, people who are busy in the single job that is the rack picker okay they don't they were not doing anything and that's why simapuri means rack picker they were all rack pickers they were having only one profession that was a rack picking and uh, and here uh, what we can say after rack picking the mukesh is also busy with their his job that is um, what is uh, firozabad work is what you can say <laughs> that is their uh, what bangal making okay so similar now comes to the questions here on the uh, in front of you you can see the questions all of you hello hello i hope all are able to see the questions yes or no the first question i hope you are able to see the question there is a first question here okay why did uh, people migrate from village in Dhaka to Delhi? Here is uh, some uh, key points for your question answer has been I have marked here natural calamities like cyclone compelled to migrate and better education, more job opportunities, better living condition and looking for comforts. So you can take a snapshot or with the help of your mobile if you're there in the mobile you can take a snapshots and at the same time you can uh, write it down yeah the second question sahib is uh, no longer his master says the writer what does she mean the here in the second question the author means the sahib gets employment in a tea stall sahib no longer his master so sahib gets employment in a tea, tea stall he has lost his carefree look of independence that he enjoyed as a rack picker he, being a rack picker he was independent so now he got and lost his independence he's paid 800 rupees to supplement the fa family income 
but he is unhappy. In fact, he has lost his freedom. So he has lost his freedom. Next question we are able to see survival in Simapuri means rack picking. What I said it and the question was asked by a boy right now. Why? So here's the answer for you. Rack picking is, is a more a dirty and filthy job for slum dwellers. It has become their bread and earn and means for survival. So it has become a means for earn and their survival and due to is they are able to survive with the minimum thing because from the waste it has it is a gold for them and sometimes they even find rupees and silver silver coins in a heap for of garbage and even uh, for the kids it was for a what gifts they used to give sometimes one rupee ten rupees it was gift for them and for the uh, senior members of the family it was a part of what uh, managing their family it was a source of income for them what uh, what rags or waste garbage is next question we are able to see question number four what does the author say that the bangle makers are caught in a vicious wave of poverty mark it down try to understand the point here the bangle makers are victim of injustice and exploitation in Firozabad. they're caught in a wave of money lenders see middlemen pol a policeman politicians <laughs> They are fear stricken and surprised. See, when someone without uh, uh, for need of money, need of food, and they are thrown into the jail, and what happens? You won't dare to do that kind of work again. So similarly here, they are uh, they are what in a fear, and they cannot raise their voice, and they cannot come in a group. Okay. Next, we can see what was Mukesh's dream. Mukesh belongs to a marginalized family. Dislike the profession of bangle making. He wanted to become a motor mechanic. Seemed practical and determined to achieve his goal. Matured understanding for his life. He was having a matured understanding for his life. Next we can see describe Hajadia's health condition of bangle makers. Bangle makers worked in the glass industry of Firozabad in subhuman condition in subhuman condition in sub I means very downwards of a degrade and a very substandard we say where we when you go to a big hotel you are addicted and even you go to normal and a substandard hotel it's not of our standard hotel okay subhuman condition means it was not a human as human should live in that condition of the uh, as these people were living dinghy cells and what was the other and at high temperature, it was dinghy cells means dark cells. It was totally dark room. And at high temperature, the temperature was high. Why temperature was high? Because it was melding and welding work was going on of the glass. Okay, it was a glass burning industry like that. We can say melding industry. And people are doing this job inside their house, inside their room. Okay, that feels about everyone doing this kind of work in their household. Lost the brightness of the eyes and fell vicious circle of money lending and middle middle men. what due to working the bangle making they lost lose their eyes or they have lost their eyes and fell in the vicious circle of money and middlemen and they need to make bangles the money lenders give them money and they lend the money they use the money to make bangle and middlemen who help them to bring their products to the market to supply to other places okay so they are in trouble and these people uh, exploit them they use them and they're not benefited as in the present day you might be seeing with the crisis uh, so similarly the uh, crisis i'm just trying to connect with the people uh, you can uh, relate right now easily as vegetables we cannot get easily when we go to a market it's too expensive but when it is purchased from the uh, farmers and all it is purchased in a very low rate and it is sold to us a very high rate okay so that's the only thing that happens with uh, these people also so we'll be having the next question here uh, the title uh, lost ping is a miserable story on a political system of a country that condemned thousands of people to a life of abject poverty comment so just take a snapshot and try to write with the uh, suggested value points here given here try to like long answer as i've instructed you minimum a page or more than to it with the value points connecting uh, giving your own ideas 
Okay, so I take a snapshot of this question and question for more practice. Uh, justify the title of the story, Lost Spring. What is the irony of the name Sahib Alam? Promise made to the poor children are never kept. Explain with examples. Who made the promise? Can you answer? Who made the promise? Who made the promise? Who gave the fake promise? Who made the promise? Can you tell me who made the promise? Narrator. narrator. Yeah, narrator. It was what? Fake promise. Okay. So we can see the next one. Uh, food is more important for survival than the identity. For rack pickers of Simapuri, comment the statement. Take the uh, snapshot of these questions. Okay. And uh, you can help yourself for writing the answers. I'm keeping the questions in a screen. You can see and take the snapshot. And uh, we, uh, we will be, it will be easy for you to write the answers. These of long questions. Other short questions are also here. Next, come to the value based questions. Uh, write it on the value based question. Everyone wish to next. Uh, hmm, answer is also here given here. Write a paragraph, write a paragraph about 100 words for social magazine. Highlight the issue, the reason for migration of people from village to city. So write the question. Okay, everyone wish to live uh, life in a big city. So connecting to the chapter. Okay, due to urbanization, education, amenities, you have to connect to the chapter. Next, uh, value-based question from Mukesh. Take a snapshot. I hope you have written the question. Okay, this is the, uh, if you have any doubt in this chapter, I hope all the doubts of yours of this particular chapter, I'm able to clear with the summarizing idea, recapitulation of the informations, whatever I've shared you. In our last class, everything I have connected, I have cleared it. I hope so. Okay. And uh, whatever doubt you have, you can write it down immediately. I'll clear your doubt. Otherwise, I'll bring up the next chapter, what I'll be dealing with you. Okay. I hope so you're able to see this on your screen. What is the next chapter I'll be teaching you? Hello. That is third level. I'll be uh, dealing with the third level in our next, next class. Hello. Yes, so. Okay, okay, fine, fine. So till today, uh, we have completed the chapter last, uh, last spring and uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will uh, begin I means on Monday we'll have our next class okay not on Saturday not even on Sunday we'll have our next class on Monday same time 5 30 so I'll give the proper detailed introduction of the new, new fresh chapter that is third level and uh, written by Jack Feeney it is very uh, we can say it's not an easy chapter like uh, lost spring or last lesson it's quite critical, quite difficult, quite analytical, quite connecting to the past event. Uh, so if you want to go to the past, you want to go, go to time travel. So it will be connected to that. So we'll be doing this one of our check. Okay. So I hope this uh, you have enjoyed our class. And I, I'll be asking you to complete your question answers and share it with me. And uh, I can see uh, what and how you have done your answers. So I hope this is the, we'll end our class today. I, I won't like to continue class due to the technical issue. What does that mean? Uh, here there's some technical issue. So I'll end our class today. So uh, tomorrow, not tomorrow, on Monday, we'll begin the fresh chapter, new chapter, new chapter, that is third level. Okay, I remain here. Thank you all of you. Goodbye, take care. I end my meeting here. Thank you.